Today we're going to be looking at a question that I've been asked many times about how do I share PowerPoint or Google Docs with Preply. Hopefully this video answers this question, but if you do have any other questions about what to do when it comes to incorporating external material outside of the Preply learning platform, then feel free to get in touch and I'll be happy to answer any queries you may have. So without any further delay, let's dive in. I've got on my screen here uh, Preply, I've opened up Preply and let's go to learning plans. That's the platform as you will see it when you go in. Let's click uh, preview my video. So here it's just loading up and it'll connect up with my um, webcam. And uh, let's just uh, open up uh, the whiteboard. So first of all, let's go through whiteboard. And one thing I like about the whiteboard is that you can incorporate, as you can see here, um, a variety of PDFs and what have you. But let's start off with a brand new whiteboard. And let me show you the process that I follow when it comes down to incorporating within the whiteboard. So um, let's go and have a look at uh, a lesson. Um, actually, let's go over to Lingua House first of all. So one of the popular websites that I use to find English teacher material for me is uh, linguahouse.com. It's a subscription based service. And uh, let's see, uh, losing everyday objects, let's say an elementary activity. There's uh, audio, so you could download the audio, you can download the worksheet, um, and it will take a while just to download, so bear with me. We got the uh, activity here, um, so, and it's just opened up, and as you can see on the PDF, um, you have from Lingua House, you have a normal warm-up activity, usually after the warm-up activity, the sort of vocabulary. So here you can see a an with everyday objects, pronunciation, plural, endings, discussion, etc. This is great, it's in PDF. So once I've downloaded the material, um, I click on the upload button, which is on the bottom right. And here I can choose files. So let's go to downloads um, and click on date modified. And you can see here losing everyday objects. Click open. And then there's a sort of upload file here. Normally you would expect it to just open up straight away, but this isn't the case. <laughs> so click on upload. Then you would think, okay, it's uploaded. Ah, there's one more step to do. You have to click on add to whiteboard. Once that's added, you have all the pages included. You can start to include variety of text. Um, so what are they doing? They are looking for uh, uh, lost objects. Yeah. Um, and so you can move the text around. You can click down on, if I open up here, a download page. Um, so if I just zoom in slightly, there's a download page. Uh, the student has access to this so they can download it. One thing that I think would really help uh, students is to download the actual PDF that you've included with the sort of text and various things that you've included. Um, you can't scroll down to the next page, but what you have is the various pages included here. Um, and you can go through page by page with the student. Let's close the whiteboard. Um, and so the whiteboard is accessible automatically with students. The next thing that you can do is click on share screen. And here you've got Chrome tab and I've got all the different tabs that you can see. You can share tab audio, which is great. You can click on window and then you can click on Preply or you can click on entire screen. So for me, um, let's cancel that for the moment and bring up a document. Um, and I'm gonna use a Word document from Lingua House, uh, IELTS preparation, 6G revolution, and open that up. I've got the audio as well. Um, 
So it makes sense when you have started to download material, start to compile it into, you know, um, is it business English? Is it grammar? Is it I idiomatic expressions? IELTS preparation, pronunciation, teenage material, or various different topics. Um, so you could organize it that way. To share my Word document, what I do is I click on share screen. As I've mentioned, Chrome tab, the different objects here, the different tabs that I've got open. If you want to share a website or a YouTube video, you could do that. Uh, I've got a window here. And if I click on 6G progress, you can click share. And then normally, um, and so here you will see a box at the bottom, which I'll move around for your benefit. Um, you can see here, um, preply.com is sharing a window. So that's great. And you can tell now that the student will be able to see what you've opened up and the topic that you're teaching and you can start to include their answers. Do you know anyone who doesn't have a smartphone? No, I don't know anyone at all. So, <laughs> you know, you could include that and you can start to include their answers and start to provide feedback, which is so important. If I've got a, a first lesson, a trial lesson, um, there's two things that I tend to open up. I have the speaking feedback for the trial lesson on Google Drive, and you can see here um, an example of uh, feedback that I provided in February, uh, a few months back to one new student. Okay, so um, uh, again with folders, I like to organize things by student's name and put in the PowerPoint that I'm using for them. Um, I tend to open it up um, and normally if you open it up, it will go full screen. Um, but for me, I try and shrink it down to a size which then I can start to see everything on my screen. Very important that you are able to negotiate between the different tabs that you got open on uh, you know your internet browser as well as the PowerPoint that you're using for your trial lessons. Now one thing that I tend to use is I go over to slideshow and there's a button here called setup slideshow. I click on setup slideshow and I've got browse by an individual uh, window and I want to click on this. Normally it's presented full screen by a speaker. I click on browse by an individual window I click OK and then when I come to do the slideshow it won't go full screen so as you can see here it's in a window within the actual um, desktop that I've got here. This makes it so much easier like I said to uh, jump between sharing your PowerPoint and go into uh, the Preply main site. So. Uh, what I do, again, like MS Word, is I just go on to Window and I click on PowerPoint Slideshow. Um, and it's so much easier. And as you can see, this has popped up. Preply.com is sharing a window. And I go forward and uh, the various different slides, which helps organize and structure what I'm doing within a 50 minute trial. I click stop sharing and sometimes whilst I am listening to the student, I will be typing away. Um, I would recommend a wireless uh, keyboard, um, Bluetooth keyboard, because it helps whilst you're listening with the headphones and you're just um, and what I have here is the example of speaking feedback. And I want to include this within the Preply space. So what I do is I click on share, uh, make sure anyone with the link is able to view it and click on editor and click on copy link and click done. So I've copied the link over and I'm going to go over to Preply now and I'm going to open up the whiteboard again. And as you can see, we've got um, the and just bring it open. We've got the main uh, lesson activity that we got here, which I shared earlier on, which is great. Um, one thing that you can do is go full size, but what I've noticed is it kind of cuts off at the bottom. So if I've got a pen, I can't draw below it, so it kind of cuts off with 
just with PDF documents. So, um, however, I want to include a Google document. And so again, I click on upload. You've got different tabs. You've got a local file, which you can drag and drop into the uh, main point here. You've got YouTube videos, which is great. Um, you know, you can search for um, how to teach on Preply. Um, and if, yeah, and then you've got a variety of different um, uh, videos. Uh, one of my videos here. <laughs> and so you can upload it, save it to the lesson materials and that sort of thing. Um, but if you've got a story, if you're teaching kids and you go, okay, um, uh, uh, Robin Hood uh, kids story. And let's see, you've got um, a variety of different videos that you can include into Preply. Anyway, I'm going to go into local drive, paste in the actual document. Um, again, you've got to click upload file, or add to whiteboard. So um, as you can see, um, you've got the whole Word document here. If I go and close this one down, you can see the cursors here. If I edit within this document, um, it will show up on Preply. Um, and there you go. So if I if I want to delete it, it will show on Google Documents, Google Drive. So I'm going to close Google Drive now. And so whatever you edit here will be updated automatically on Google Drive. Um, and as you can see, if I bring this open, I tend to click fit and click on expand. And unlike uh, PDF documents that you upload onto the whiteboard, like uh, this document here where it um, kind of breaks up, I tend to open it up here and you can start to see that it's fully accessible by both you and the student. And the one thing that I like about Google Documents with Preply is you can just scroll down, go on to page two, uh, etc. Now, uh, another thing, if you have uh, MS Word worksheets, I tend to go in to Google Drive again. And let's go into example lesson material. And I've got a lesson here on visiting Scotland. Again, a huge thanks to Lingua House for their great material because I absolutely love it and my students really engage with this material. Uh, again, click fit. Um, I tend to share it. So go through the whole process again. Anyone with the link, click editor click copy link. You've got to make sure that you've got this so everyone has access. Click done. Go over to Preply and I'm going to upload another Word document again. So Word document, click upload, upload, click add to whiteboard. Okay, and we got it. And for some reason, Preply has this terrible habit of adding in uh, extra tabs. So it's a bit fragile when it comes down to the, the whiteboard, which is why I don't tend to use it that much apart from the initial lesson. Um, but then I tend to move away from it, um, uh, the Preply whiteboard that is. However, um, um, it takes a bit of getting used to, a bit you know, fragile. However, if you're able to edit it, um, and work around um, with a solution, that's fine. Uh, as you can see here, I've got Google Documents open. If I go to Preply, and you can see here, um, I've just added this and it's fully accessible here as well. So um, that is how I tend to incorporate my lessons and what I do when I'm teaching trial lessons. Um, let's close the whiteboard. As a sort of bonus for those that have been watching up to now. So thank you ever so much. I'm going to be sharing with you a website that I use as well and share the screen with. And it's one that um, has been here. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you have access to it. So for those that uh, use um, uh, or are teaching a variety of students from teenage to adults, I would recommend Engu. Engu is a fantastic website when it comes down to English teacher material. It's, uh, you know, free for use. Um, and it looks at a variety of different articles about current affairs. And you, you've got a 
economy, business, health, travel, lifestyle, languages, education, etc. Uh, and one thing that you could do with Engu, click on materials, go to, let's say my student is intermediate, um, and you could have a look at a variety of different materials here. You could go to IELTS speaking test preparation um, and you've got different levels to help them with the speaking test. Uh, and you've got practice test one, test two, test three and 12 more. So, um, so many different practice tests, different levels. There's 22 here discussing animals, etc. So this is free point of access. If we click on one of these lessons, like the um, discussing the importance of technology, we got uh, warm up pronunciation practice. So can you listen and repeat after me? Um, different pictures. Um, so your tutor will choose five words and say them out loud after each word to say whether it's from group A or group B. So this is if you're teaching groups of students. You got a uh, quiz, your tutor, you got tongue twisters, uh, you got helpful vocab, importance, and then a sort of dialogue, a uh, part free dialogue. So this certainly helps. If I go back to daily news, and if we go say, okay, Pac-Man, how it was a global hit, you've got uh, a picture here. If you click on the picture, it zooms out, uh, not zooms out, but zooms in. Um, so you can see it, you can discuss it with the student. You can go down, um, you can look at the vocabulary. There's a sort of a, a button um, which allows you to listen into the pronunciation, really good for students, and a sort of uh, definition. So you could get the students to explain um, what the words mean. Um, and also one thing that I like to do is, okay, sweaty is an adjective and get the students to go, you know, what's the, the noun form or the verb form? Um, of sweaty and you know sweat etc um stinky stink yeah determined is a nice adjective um and what's the verb to determine you know it's got a regular ed ending so it's ed ing adjective failure um noun uh what's the verb to fail etc so there's a, a bit of an article you could get the student to read out the article one by one or, you know, you could copy and paste the whole article um, and then paste it into a Word document. So if I click on Word document, open a Word blank document in, click uh, uh, paste and you've got it here and you go, OK, so alien was one of the words. So let's search for alien. Boom. And we've got aliens and put in a gap. And uh, let's go uh, stinky was a nice adjective um, and go, OK. Da, 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 da. Um, and let's look for um, sweat. And we've got sweaty here and let's put a gap here. And then you can start to create gaps and get the students to tell you what you think goes in the gap from the key vocabulary. So that's one idea. Um, you could get the student to read it out and then you can correct the pronunciation or highlight particular words that you are thinking of. Uh, you got questions, um, just com you know, comprehension questions. Um, you got discussion questions. And then you got further discussions. So a variety of different things, really useful, very good will cover 50 minutes an hour no problem at all so i hope you enjoyed this bonus recommendation of engu daily news and as ever i will put in the link in the description so you have full access of it um so uh there we are that is uh today's video i hope you enjoyed today's video about how i incorporate a couple of things um powerpoint in to Preply, how I share that particular screen, also how I share Word documents, what I do to incorporate Google documents, uh, Google Drive documents on speaking feedback, particularly on uh, first trial lessons, what I do to incorporate a variety of lesson activities 
um, through Google Drive as well, very similar format to first lesson speaking feedback sessions. And then finally, the uh, sort of material that's available through Engu Daily News. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to hit that thumbs up. It will be great uh, to know that you enjoyed it. Any comments below, please feel free to comment. Uh, any questions you may have, any suggestions for a future video, that'd be great. And also, one more thing to mention, I am starting to release uh, membership-only webinars and if you want to join our community feel free to join the community it'd be great to have you i'll be holding webinars through google meet uh, and hopefully in the future i'll be able to share these webinars on youtube record them for those members that aren't part of the community but if it feels like you want personalized feedback personalized support when it comes down to teaching whether it's online face to face or you know um, or individual support when it comes down to creating your profile feel free to click that join button I've made another video all about it it'll be great to for you to join our community in the meantime have a great week stay safe and happy teaching bye bye